Hi, this is Steven Estelle, the Applications Engineer with Mapish Scan 3D. And today I'm going to show you the GeoMagic Design plugin for SolidWorks. So right now we're just going to the tab of GeoMagic for SolidWorks and we're importing a mortar scan. Now the scan that you see is actually incomplete. This is due to a mortar being damaged. However, with the software add-in, we're able to still re recreate and reverse engineer a solid model of this mortar. So right now, we are adding regions to the scan data. Now regions in GeoMagic allows us to create specific areas on the scan and manipulate those areas to create and even use them as references when aligning and doing other features. So all the colors that showed up onto the scan data represent the different regions. They're based off of curvatures and different angles. And what we're gonna do now is orientate our mesh because the scan data came in kind of crooked based off of what we want to actually work on. So what I'm doing right now is lining up the Y axis and referencing it to the region that's at the very top. And then after that, I'm going to line up the X axis and reference it to one of the regions on one of the fins on the side of the mortar. So after I hit the check mark, it's going to load a little bit, then it's going to orientate our entire scan data. So this is the angle that I want to work in, make it nice and straight up. So the next thing we're going to do is reference an axis in the middle of the mortar. And what you can do is you can utilize the regions that were created to reference an axis right in the middle of the cone shape that we're going to use. So when you do that, the software recognizes that, you're, that the region's kind of a cone, even if it's incomplete, and it creates an axis right in the middle of it. So after that, we're now going to do a reference geometry, and we're going to reference two planes that are going to run through the axis. So the big difference between GeoMagic for SolidWorks and GeoMagic Design X and the actual software by itself is that the software alone is a bit faster, and it has a little bit more tools that allows this whole process to go smoothly, while the GeoMagic for SolidWorks plugin it has some of the important features that allows you to do some basic reverse engineering while doing it inside of SolidWorks so you don't need to export it. It's a little bit slower, but it still gets the job done. So at the end of this project, we'll be able to create a CAD model of this mortar and then utilize it for assembly or anything else we want to utilize it in SolidWorks. So now that we have those two planes created based off of the axis, the next thing we're going to do is a cross-section drawing. So we're going to hit the cross sections in the Geometric for SolidWorks tab, and we're going to utilize Plane 2 for our cross section. And what this does is that it creates a sketch of the scan data that runs through this plane. So we're going to make the scan data disappear and the planes disappear, and we're going to edit the sketch that was created from the cross section. So right now we're changing the sketch data from construction to a solid line. And what the ultimate plan is, is we're gonna utilize half of the sketch and revolve it around axis one. However, what we're gonna to need to do now is fix up the sketch to make it exactly how we want. So I'm gonna make all the lines straight and I'm gonna remove some of those dimples at the bottom to just make it a straight line at the bottom. So this is kind of nice for people who utilize SolidWorks because you're able to utilize the exact same tools as SolidWorks. So if you're very familiar with this CAD software, utilizing this plugin is really simple. Now the GeoMethod Design X software is just almost exactly as SolidWorks. There's little things that are different here and there, but it is its own software. So some of the pictures may look slightly different and some of the controls may be different as well. However, you can very you can grasp the whole control very simply, and I think you can even go into the options menu in the Design X software and even change your controls to match mirror SolidWorks controls. 
So right now we're just creating the drawings and we're trimming away any of the lines that I didn't see suit for this revolve. I want to make sure that our mortar comes out straight and perfect for design. So I'll say one of the things that I really think Geomagic for SolidWorks or just Geomagic Design is really good at is that because you can utilize scan data to reverse engineer these complicated models, it makes it really easy to design something that may not have been accurate if you just designed it based off of calipers. Be able to utilize scan data and to create an exact almost replica of the model without having to utilize calipers or any other measuring tools, but just the scanner. And it'd be nice because at the end of it, once we create the CAD model, we'll be able to compare it with the scan data because they'll both be overlapping each other. So right now we're just making sure that all the lines are the lines we're going to utilize. And then we need to make sure that the drawing that we're creating is a closed drawing so that all the lines are connected, there's nothing that's running through it, everything is trimmed off perfectly. So as you can see here, when we hit revolve, nothing happened. And the reason because is that one of the lines we did not actually trim away. And what that means is whenever you're trying to create some kind of closed drawing based off of some scan data, you need to make sure that all your lines are taken care of and cleaned up perfectly. So that once that is done, you can create a perfect model. So you just need to make sure you take your time when creating these drawing sketches. So we're going to create the revolve and now we have the main body of the mortar. And it's revolved around the same axis and as you can see when we compare it to the scan data, it perfectly overlaps the scan model. So now the next plan, we're going to hide the revolve we created and now we have to create the blades or the fins on the bottom of the mortar. So we're going to utilize the same cross section view and create and get a sketch from it. And we're going to utilize plane one this time. So as you can see in this plane, the plane does not actually capture the fin of the mortar. So this could be problematic if your plane doesn't run exactly through the part that you want. However, Geomagic gives you an option where you can offset your plane a little bit of a distance to capture a part that may not be exactly lined up. So as you can see, the blade is a little bit off from the plane. So we're going to change the distance of the plane so that we can get the blade inside of the cross section. So we're going to offset it by one millimeter so that it runs perfectly through the middle of the blade and we're going to check that and then we're going to work on this sketch model. So we're going to disappear the scan model. We're going to make the planes go away and we're going to start editing the sketch. So the main thing we're just mainly worried about is the fin at the bottom. So we're going to take that and turn that into a solid line and we're going to start working off of that. However, we need to make sure that the blade meets up with our revolve CAD model. So based off the drawing, 
when extend a perpendicular line from the blade to the CAD model that was created. I want to do this because I want to make sure that the blade is connected and that there is no space between the blade and the main body of our CAD model. So trying to draw something like this blade would have been difficult without some form of a scan data because the blade kind of has a kind of an organic shape to it. The curves and different, different drawings can make it difficult to perfectly replicate some CAD models. So right now we're getting rid of some of the other drawings that were in the scan data that we didn't need. However, because those are construction lines, we actually don't need to worry about those too much. We just need to focus on the actual drawing lines, which creates a closed sketch. And then from here, we're going to create an extrusion to get the thickness of one of the blades. So we're going to try to line up the extrusion on both sides to match the blade exactly. So now as you can see we have the main body of the mortar and one fin. So from here we're almost finished. You just got to utilize a couple more features to finalize the CAD model. So as you can see, we're trying to rotate and do a circular pattern. However, we have the blade as a merged product of the body. And we don't want to revolve the body around itself. So what we're going to do is we did not merge. The, we uncheck the merge entity box of the blade. And now we're going to circle pattern the blade around the mortar however many times we need to to match the scan data. So now we're going to make the scan data appear so that we can reference how many rotations or how many instances we need to perfectly match the scan data. So we're going to select the, the body and then we're going to select the axis we want to rotate around. And then we're going to have it set to equal spacing. And now we're going to select how many instances we want. So the mortar has 10 instances of the different fins on the bottom of it. So we're going to set it to 10. And then from there, we're going to double check how it looks. And then we're going to accept the changes. So now you can see both the model and the scan data overlapping each other. And here's the model that we ultimately ended up building and reverse engineered from the scan data utilizing Geomagic for SolidWorks. Looks pretty clean and almost exact to the scan data that was imported. Both models look really, really close together. And it shows just how accurate the reverse engineering was when compared to the scan data. So now there's one more thing that we have to do, and that is we need to merge together all the fins as all together to the main body so that they are created as one solid CAD model. So now all we have to do is go into the features 
and then the features tree there is a combine button and from there we use the operation type add and with that we're going to combine the main body to all the fins making them one solid model this is shown when the revolve is not shown the fins go away as well proving that they're one model So this is the completed mortar that was taken and reverse engineered from the, the scan model that was imported into Geomagic for SolidWorks. You create a very accurate CAD model within SolidWorks and this allows you to use this 3D model for things such as assembly or any other features in SolidWorks. So this was the main rundown of the plugin for SolidWorks called Geomagic Design. This is Steven Estelle, the Applications Engineer for Rapid Scan 3D. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.